Question says, for each of the following sets, choose the best Lewis structure. Explain your choice. So here we have uh, CH5N. This molecule is made famous in the show Breaking Bad. This is the molecule methylamine. So we need to decide which one of these is the best Lewis structure. So if you've done enough Lewis structures, this one should immediately stand out as, hey, there's got to be something wrong with this. Carbon is in period two, and it has six domains. Carbon can't expand its octet, so this one, it's just plain wrong. All right, you can't expand the octet of carbon. It's too small. It's in period two, so this is just wrong. So let's look at these two examples. Now, if we look at both of these examples, the carbon has four domains, so therefore it's uh, got an octet, and the nitrogen, same thing, it's got an octet. Okay, two, four, six, eight. If we look at this one, same thing. Nitrogen has two, four, six, eight, and carbon has two, four, six, eight. So both of the carbons and the nitrogens have octets in these Lewis structures. In fact, the only difference between these Lewis structures are that carbon is here, and in this one, nitrogen is here, and then obviously carbon and nitrogen have switched as well. So this is, um, these look both reasonable. So now how are we going to figure it out? Well, how we're going to figure this out is by formal charges. So carbon wants to have four electrons around it. Count the dots as one, count the dashes as one. It has one, two, three, four. So this carbon is neutral. Nitrogen wants to have five electrons around it, and it has, count the dots as one, dashes as one, one, two, three, four, five. So in this case, all the atoms have a zero formal charge. Let's look at this case. Nitrogen wants five and has one, two, three, four. Nitrogen is missing an electron, making it positively charged. Carbon wants four, has one, two, three, four, five. It has an extra electron, making it negatively charged. This is the best Lewis structure because all of the formal charges are zero. So if you want to ultimately explain it, you'd say this Lewis structure has, doesn't have expanded octets, which are not valid, and all formal charges are zero. So that is our best answer. Let's look at the next one. All right, we have NO2F. So let's take a look here at anything that immediately strikes us as impossible. If we look at this Lewis structure right here, nitrogen has one, or excuse me, two, four, six, eight, ten electrons. This has an expanded octet on nitrogen, which is not valid. So we can eliminate this Lewis structure. Again, nitrogen's in period two. It's too small to have an expanded octet. So therefore, this Lewis structure is no good. Let's look at the next one. In this case, we have two, four, six, eight around nitrogen, two, four, six, eight around fluorine. This oxygen has eight and this oxygen has eight. This has all octets, good. How about this one? Two, four, six, eight around this oxygen. This one has eight. This one has eight, two, four, six, eight around nitrogen. So similar to the previous example, these both have octets. So how are we going to tell? Exactly the same as the previous example, by formal charges. So if we look at this one first, let's look at oxygen. Oxygen wants to have six electrons around it. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Dots is one, dashes is one. It's negative. This oxygen, exactly the same thing. It's negative. Let's look at nitrogen. Nitrogen wants to have five and it has one, two, three, four, making it positive. Fluorine wants to have seven and has one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's missing an electron, making it also positive. So in this Lewis structure, everything has a formal charge. Note that you have two pluses and two minuses, two pluses and two minuses, so it does end up coming out neutral, um, but every atom has a formal charge. Can we do better than that? Well, let's take a look at this one. This oxygen and this oxygen are now different. Oxygen wants six, has one, two, three, four, five, six. It's neutral. This oxygen has seven, just like over here. It's minus. When oxygen is one bond and three lone pairs, it's always minus. Let's look at fluorine. Fluorine wants seven, has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's neutral. How about nitrogen? Nitrogen wants five, has one, two, three, four. It's plus. So if we compare this Lewis structure to this Lewis structure, 
this one is the winner because it has less formal charges. Note that if you were going to calculate the formal charges of this one, you would find that they're all zero because nitrogen essentially we move these two down here. Because now if you see the difference between these, we move these two down here. And what we find is all the formal charges are zero because we've essentially moved an electron onto uh, nitrogen and moved it away from oxygen. But there's a problem. You can't do that, just like you couldn't do that with nitrate, because you can't expand nitrogen's octet. So since nitrogen can't have an expanded octet, even though this has more formal charges than this one, it's still the correct answer.